Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let me show you a cool little tool I picked up on Amazon a few weeks ago. It was on a little lightning sale. Amazon had it my little recommended products and stuff like that. So this is a King Bowling BM520 battery tester. And as you can see, it's scratched up and dirty already. Been using the hound out of it. I'm gonna show what I've been using it for and uh, testing on a couple other different things today. But so far, I've really enjoyed this little affordable battery tester. So let's get right into it. So I paid $29.99 on Amazon with the Lightning Cell for this Model 520 right here, BM520. It comes with the tester itself, and it's got data logging features. comes with a USB cable so you can connect it to a computer and all that good stuff. And the little ports right there if you want if you're interested in that kind of thing. I'm just using it to test batteries of different, different capacities, different chemistries, things like that. Nice user manual shows you all the test methods. Uh, what calculations and all that's in there. If you really want to get into detail, it does SAE, BCI, every kind of test you can imagine built into this little unit right here. Uh, nice little carrying case that's pretty robust. Uh, you know, no complaints there. So let me show you how it works. So this little meter is catered to the automotive DIY crowd, motorcycle crowd, RV, golf cart people. And that's probably 95% of what I've used it on is lead acid golf cart batteries because it seems like everybody has picked up a golf cart this summer. I don't know why, but they become very popular. So people have asked me to come help them with their golf carts. So I got this mainly for that too. And to test for my own stuff, but I'll show you how it works. So you got two different leads, of course, positive and negative. It's reverse polarity protected. So if you hook it up wrong, it's not gonna blow it up. It's for six, 12 or 24 volt batteries. So you hook it up. Give it a second to come on. It's got a little delay to it. And uh, just got all kinds of different tests in it. I'll cover some more in just a second, but just go hit the check button. Uh, I got it on a six volt battery right here. So I'm gonna do a uh, do an out of vehicle test because there's no load, everything is shut off. And that's where I can get my BCI test for this battery. I'm gonna select regular flood battery. I'm gonna do a BCI test on this battery right here. And these are 215 amp hour at six volts. So I'm gonna go up to 215 amp hour and then okay. And it'll run its test for me right there. State of health, 100%, it's good. It gives you your actual BCI amperage, the voltage of the battery right there. And then your internal resistance, 2.27 milliohms. So that is a good battery. Got a whole stack of Trojan T105s right here, six volt batteries that just came out of a Toro Workman. Had a uh, you know, retrofit, put a Vader in this uh, Toro Workman. So, you know, big power getting it charged up right now. But uh, with these T105s, there's a couple of them dragging down the entire system. So I'm gonna find out which are the bad Trojans and which are the good ones and uh, see if any of these are salvageable. And for checking batteries like this, when you get a big stack of lead acids, it's a quick check going through. It's better than just relying on voltage and having to go through and charge them. This gives you a good state of health. I'm gonna do a six volt battery and I'm gonna do an out of vehicle test on it. It checks alternators and charging and things like that too. And these are regular flooded batteries. And I'm gonna do a BCI test uh, on this battery. There are all kinds of different test methods, but doing BCI and it's 225 amp hours. So I'll hit the B Hit the BCI right there, 225 amp hours, and I'll give it OK button. And right there, 48% state of health. Retest after charge gives you internal resistance, 8.27 milliohms, voltages, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to check some more of them. And then on down to the next one, same test again. You're doing a big bank of batteries like this. It's not bad to do. So working on down the line, do the same thing again, regular flooded, a BCI test, replacement. So pretty easy to use. And then this is what it's mainly catered for right here. This is where the unit shines. It's a very similar consumer grade setup of what's at your O'Reilly's or your advanced auto parts, places like that. Automotive application now, Optima, AGM spiral cell battery. So we'll do a check on it, 12 volt. Uh, in vehicle tests, we'll do, um, just a regular battery test. Of course, the engine is off. And this is a AGM spiral cell. A cold cranking amp test right there. And it is 800 cold cranking amps. 
and then gives us a state of health of 100% normal, 12.01 volts, 2.98 milliohms. So it's still got 862 rated amps at cold cranking, so it's above its rating. So now I'm gonna show you a couple more features on it. I'm gonna do the startup test with this unit. So you hit check, go down to 12 volts, and then do an in-vehicle test, and then do a startup test right there. So please turn off the engine before starting the test. Of course, the engine's off. I say, now start engine. All right, so the starting ability was normal on that. Go back right here, go to charging test. Hit OK. And it shows you the ripple of your alternator, charging voltage of your alternator, all that good stuff. All right, now I'm going to do the charging test on the alternator. My assistant will rev the engine just a smidge and hold it there. So there's the charging test. My assistant will bring the RPMs up. That's good as well. Let's just hit the waveform while it's hooked up to the alternator right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then hit the multimeter function while I'm connected and see what it shows. Right there. Nice. Another Optima in a different vehicle that rarely gets driven. Let's check it. Hadn't been running in a few weeks, so be a good example if it picks up any draws or any parasitic loads on the battery. So I'm gonna do an in-vehicle test on this battery and just do a battery test. And of course the engine is off. And then AGM spiral cell. And we'll do a cold cranking app test on this battery as well. And 720, 720, and hit the go button. All right, see it's at 11. 0.90 volts. It needs to be recharged and checked again. So. You know, got a little parasitic load with normal for modern vehicles. So right there, I need to crank it up, charge it, and then check the cold cranking again. But it went at 713 out of a possible 720. Okay, good thing I checked this battery. I didn't think it was, was that low or been that long, but you saw the meter right there. The King Bolin meter showed 119. There's what the client's showing, 1198 on it. So uh, yeah, it is low. So I need to crank it up and let it charge up and top off. And I've got the King Bowling hooked to a lithium iron phosphate battery. Not listed for this, but I've been using it to check internal resistance. Things like that on some of these batteries, just to compare between brands and the sales resistance, all that. So just a quick check on this and just to show you, checking resistance between two different batteries. Uh, at a vehicle test, don't matter which one we hit because I'm just looking for resistance values. So let's hit that one right there. 2.73 milliohms. Let go. 2.97 milliohm on this one versus that one. So you know, see the difference between the two. Their battery right there, internal resistance on it, 2.8 milliohms. And of course the winner on the workbench, unsurprising, lowest resistance, just the ones I was messing with right here, 2.62 milliohms on the Redodios. Oh yeah, that's right. But anyhow, uh, if y'all are interested in this King Bowling, I will put a link in the description if you want to look into it a little further. Maybe it's something you might need for your automotive needs or what have you, golf cart needs, RV needs, things like that, trolling motors, boats, you name it. Just a handy little tool to have around. So many functions in it. I'll be using it more in some upcoming videos, but just want to let you know about this. So I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a nice day. Take care and be safe.